As you build up the screens for your application, you'll use our extensive components library. We have basic building blocks for cards and dividers and images, components for forms and for charts. But we also have this selection of blocks. Blocks are slightly different in that they are a collection of structured components that are achieving a really common goal. So we've got our cards block, we have our, which we provide data for and define the card definition for, and we can add titles and buttons. We have a table block where we again provide the data. We say what columns we want to have here, and we can add filters and search fields and side panel actions. And we have things like the row explorer block where we can scroll through the, the cards, we can click on a card, and when we're in preview mode, we can see the details over here to be able to edit. But these blocks are designed to achieve the most common use cases. But there are some times when you might think, actually, I want to do something slightly different. I want to customize that in some way, in a way that's not possible with the block. And it's at that point that you'll want to eject the block. So I'm going to look at this table block. And what I would like to do is I'd like to add a button beside each of these. And maybe I could use that button to be able to book an appointment for that particular pet. So I'll add the component for button and I'll call it book appointment. So this button, I would like to be sort of nested inside and appear at each row here, but I can't do that with the table block. So I'm going to eject it. So there's two ways to eject it. I can click on the block, hit the three dots and press eject block or when the block is selected, scroll to the bottom of the configuration and click eject block over here. In either case, it says ejecting a block breaks into multiple components and cannot be undone. Are you sure? So I'll eject the block. Now we get to see the components that make up that block. We have a form and the forms for the pets um, and it's a create form. And that's because you might want to use your table block to create a new pet. We have a container which has our heading in here and puts any of the search fields in here. We have a data provider, which is reaching into the pets. And inside of that, we have a table. The table's getting the data from the data provider and is being configured in the same way. Now, if I pick up my button and bring it into my table, I can now have this button. So I would then be able to define actions to set this button to trigger a booking of an appointment. Whether or not you want to get more customization of blocks to be able to get them to do things that they don't do out of the box, or if you're just curious, how is this particular block made so that you could think about how you could adapt that to your use case, ejecting the block is going to break it down into exactly the same components that you can use when you're building your own screens.